Jesus. Jesus doesn't know them at all. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. All of this religiosity in verses 21 through 23, all of it in God's eyes is iniquity. Powerful verse, isn't it? Very, very powerful verse. Romans 5.12 says, Wherefore is by one man sin entered the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for all, for that all have sinned. No person on planet Earth can stand up and say, I have not sinned. Can't do it. Every one of them were born in sin. Even, uh, even uh, common sense will tell you that, right? Um, for example, the simplest example I can give you is that when you have ch when, us, when we parents have children, isn't it amazing? You don't have to teach them how to do wrong. Today, son, daughter, I'm going to show you how to sin. I'm going to show you how to do wrong. They do it naturally because a baby is born in sin. Oh, I mean that cute little bundle of joy. Yep. Yeah. That cute little bundle of joy that gets you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Cries. Pick it up. Oh, put it down. What happens? Cry. You know what that is? Sinful nature. Baby saying, I want what I want, Mom. Then you're going to give it to me or I'm going to cry all night long. Human beings are born in sin. You'll never have to teach your children as they grow up. Well, today, son, daughter, I'm going to show you how to sin. They naturally do it because they're born in sin. That's why in 1 John 1, 8, in our verse... John said, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Any person who claims they do not sin is not walking in truth. They're, de they're deceiving themselves. Because the Bible says, when we get to 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, and we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And it's true, isn't it? We'll see that uh, in the next misconception. This whole world is wicked and is evil and it lies in wickedness. Yeah. That's why Proverbs chapter 20 verse 9 says this. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Nobody can. Not one person can. That's why, in verse number 9, in our text, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. To forgive our sins means that God forgives the guilt of sin. Every one of us is guilty of sin. So God has to justify us, and how he does that is through the death of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ paid the penalty and the guilt of all human beings. We stand before God with, with clean hearts, no guilty heart. When a person gets saved, God promises that he will cleanse us from all our sins. He says also to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That means God cleanses us from all the dirt, the filth, the pollution, and the condemnation of sin. When God, picture this people, this is a beautiful thing. When you look at verse number 9, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In other words, you that are saved this morning, you that are born again by the Spirit of God, when God looks into your heart and my heart, what does he see? Jesus. He sees Jesus 
Therefore, we are cleansed. We are righteous in His eyes because of the position we have in Christ Jesus. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? That's a wonderful thing. The point here in verse number 9 is this. Having done this for mankind, having given His Son to die for our sin, God will forgive mankind. Because He is faithful and He is righteous and He will do that. In other words, God always keeps His word. You can count on that, right? If God says, if you confess your sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You have God's promise. He'll keep His word. He'll do exactly what He says. He would be unfaithful and unrighteous if He did not forgive us of our sins. God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Count on it. It's a promise from God. Amen? Isn't that wonderful? So, but but I, I've had Christians, oh, no, God can't forgive me. Ooh, don't say that. According to verse 9, yes. I don't care what you've done. God will forgive you. You have to confess it, though. Right? you got to confess it, though. You won't cleanse you if you don't confess it. That's the beauty of coming to Christ. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, 7, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. Ephesians 1, 7. What a beautiful verse. Proverbs 28.13 Proverbs 28.13 Listen to this. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confess and forsakes them shall have mercy. I like that verse. And so, that confession of sin and the forgiveness of sin, it's there. So, misconception number two, which I've been dwelling on, man cannot say, all right, that he hasn't got sin. He does. And that sin needs to be forgiven. All right. Misconception number three. Man can become righteous and sinless on his own. That's what verse 10 is saying. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. <laughs> Man, if we say that we have not sinned, oh, come on. Everyone, has, everyone in this room has sinned. And I guarantee you, this afternoon or tomorrow, that you're going to sin. It's part of our nature. And it's easy to do. I'll give you an example. You're all, I look around a table, I see you're all saved, I believe you're all saved, you've made professions of Christ, and yeah, I'm pretty sure all you saved this morning. So, if the Bible says in the Scriptures that you're to feed on God's Word daily, and you're to pray daily, and you get up tomorrow morning, and you walk out door, you haven't been alone with God yet in prayer, you haven't read your Bible yet, you haven't had fellowship with God yet, but you're in the car and going to work, you've already sinned. You've already sinned. <laughs> See how easy it is? It's very easy. By the time you drive in traffic to get to work, you've sinned a lot more. Uh, yeah, get angry this one for doing that. I know. It, 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 it's part of our nature, man. So the misconception in verse number 10 is this. Man can become righteous and sinless on his own. He thinks he can do that. Listen. 
the one thing 